Hi folks. Uh, this video is going to be about making a mill bag. Mill bank bag. Uh, now, for anybody that doesn't know, a mill bank bag is for pre-filtering uh, water that has uh, a lot of particles and dirt and uh, maybe even bugs and stuff in it. And the idea is that uh, you'll filter that water. Uh, again, after it goes through the mill bank bag, the mill bank bag will not do anything except remove what's known as turbidity, and that's just crud in the water. It'll remove a lot of it, the big stuff. So I thought it was a good idea, and I first found out about this idea from I'm a Survivor and Thriver. Uh, she posts videos on YouTube. She has a lot of videos about uh, preparedness and uh, some gardening and right now she's also raising quail which is interesting to watch her go through that and I will put a link to her channel in the description of my video but she bought some of these mill bag bags and I thought it was a good idea but uh, she paid a lot of money for them uh, there was a big one and a small one, and the two of them together she paid $117 for. And I thought that was just too much. So I decided I'd see about making one. And so what I did was uh, I bought this, this drop cloth. It's a canvas drop cloth. Uh, and I bought it from... I bought it from uh, Harbor Freight Tools, and it's 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 humongous. It's like eight by fourteen feet, and it cost me uh, about eight dollars. That's including tax. By the time, because uh, I I went to a, a a store that that sells cloth, and they wanted twenty one dollars for a yard, so there isn't any way I was going to pay that. So I bought this canvas drop cloth, and it's it's basically the same kind of canvas. So I don't know why they're going to charge so much at at uh, some places. Some of these hobby stores cost you know cost a fortune. And the uh, the Millbank bag that I'm a survivor and thriver had also had these brass grommets, and that's so it can be suspended from a tree. And I went out and I bought this this kit, and tax included, it cost me eleven dollars. So I have nineteen dollars invested in here, and I, I could probably make thirty or more mill bank bags uh, with this amount of cloth. And I'd have to buy more grommets, but they're not expensive. So I can make a whole bunch of mill bank bags, which I might wind up doing. Uh, I might actually have my wife sew up a whole bunch of them. I might ask her kindly if she wouldn't mind sewing a whole bunch of them. Anyway, that's uh, that's part one. The next, I won't show her sewing it because, uh, you know, that would just be too much. But uh, this is the dimensions on the, the Millbank bag. I got these on online. Uh, it's basically eight inches wide by eighteen deep, and then it's got it's got some angles here that apparently are important to have just right, so it'll work. Uh, so it, that's it'll work optimally, optimally. Anyway, uh, so that's about it. Uh, the next thing, hopefully, is going to be the the bag itself. So here we have our finished product. And I think my wife did a good job on sewing this. And, you know, it, it took a little while, but it's not a long time. Uh, and this is the, the one that I'm a Survivor and Thriver showed cost 22 pounds. And that's about $30. Uh, even more than 30, I think. I think it's too much. 
and they can be made without a lot of trouble but of course it really helps if you know how to sew which I don't but this is triple stitched along the edges uh, it's not even double stitch it's it's triple stitched and then I have the the brass grommets in here although I, I have two and I, I put this first one in wrong I didn't think it mattered but it does uh, on this side I did it the right way but next time I'll know that anyway uh, here we have it and I might do a, a video at some point about testing it and even with the real thing they say that you need to wash it in a high heat water hot water and then dry it on high heat but I think it's good so let me know what you think that's about it thanks for watching